so I got here early and I just checked in with the front desk hotel asking them if I could set up earlier than my two hour window because obviously it's raining, it's gonna start pouring in a little bit. I anticipate that the other vendors are gonna wanna use this entrance with the awning. So I wanna get my truck out of the way. You know, I'm considerate of other vendors. I can stage it until the rooms are ready, but I really just, I wanna get out of this before it starts absolutely pouring. I'm assuming that is the florist and that is exactly what I was talking about, right? What gave it away that it's the florist. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Um, so again, I was trying to be considerate and not have my truck take up the whole thing so other vendors could use this entrance. And also, hotel cart for the win. I came here for my site walkthrough and they have very small, short elevators. So I knew I couldn't use this extended anyway. And they're like, hey, if you wanna use one of our carts, you can. And I wasn't gonna tell them no. So I'm loaded in with uh, one of these today. And I actually, I kind of like it. It's gonna be multiple trips with this elevator, but not complaining. At least I have an elevator. As you can see, there's really not a lot of room in here. So my uh, rock and roller cart definitely would not fit. So that's why I decided to use this because I knew what I was dealing with in the rock and roller cart, couldn't make the swing. It's a whole thing. So I'm very grateful to have the uh, hotel cart here today. All right, so I am all loaded in. That took four trips. It's all right though, again, at least there's no stairs. So the photographers are obviously here. You saw that the florist rolled up. So my plan to show up early to make room for other vendors was clutch because now I'm pulling out and the photographer is gonna pull in where I was. Um, this is what we're talking about people when we say, you know, relationships matter, uh, playing nice with other vendors matters. Um, these are the small details that people are going to remember so there's been many times when the caterer the florist whoever's pulled up you know they're right dead center blocking the door have zero consideration or conscientiousness about other vendors that may also need to use that access I don't want to be one of those people trying to be a, a culture of change here so everything I do always has other people in mind like the other vendors I guess they of course have another event going on so again, it's all about planning and understanding the task at hand. So first I'm gonna set up the ceremony because the photographers are here so we can get our you know, sound dialed in for them, give them their tapping and things like that. Then I'll move on to cocktail hour, get that set up. And then I have to wait for the timber room to clear out at 3 p.m. Now I'm expecting guests to start showing up at four, which means I need to hustle. And if I don't quite finish everything, which I should, but um, I can use cocktail hour to take care of, you know, the lighting and things like that. So again, it's all about strategy, having a game plan. So uh, I'm ready to go. You know, this is the first wedding of 2024. It is an absolutely miserable day, but you know what? I'm here for it, love my couples. So let's get to work. Also, if you don't have a pair of rain boots, highly recommend these. These were like 40 bucks. I love them. They're comfortable, not too heavy, completely waterproof, and great for days like today. Parking was way over there. Got my clothes bag here and walking on in to get set up. I have to, I have to undo this. This is the, the female DJ struggle. I don't talk about it a lot, but Sometimes facts can't be denied. <laughs> All right, so I actually have a, a lot of downtime because I can't access that other room until that other event is done. And since my cocktail hour is literally a battery powered Everse uh, and an iPad and ceremony is the same, uh, I'm done with the photographer, videographer for sound check. So I'm just relaxing. I'm gonna go fix my hair in a minute. So a couple of the bridesmaids just came down and said that one of the groomsmen just had a baby yesterday. So he is no longer attending. So I had to make some uh, quick changes with the grand entrances. And then we're also making some changes. The father of the bride now wants to do a toast. So I just kind of made some notes and flipped that around as well. So as a wedding DJ, uh, you can check, double check. I checked in yesterday with the couple, said, hey, looking forward to uh, partying with you tomorrow. You know, is there anything I need to know? Nope, we're all good. 
I come here and of course there's changes. So you have to be able to adapt, think on your feet, be flexible. You know, that's, that's what they're paying us to do, so. As usual, I got the Danny Max Curve Duo, but I do have the upgraded, updated pillars that now have an easy thumb screw that just screws right in to the bottom. Love it. They're a little shorter and a little wider. You'll see that I have a custom motion uh, welcome screen that perfectly matches the venue. And all they have to do is just tap and this is Curator and I love it. Now you'll notice that I don't have my pillowcase backdrop. The pillowcase backdrop that they decided was the fake wood with the market lighting, but why would I bring a backdrop that looks like wood when I literally have wood behind us? Not only that, so this is definitely work smarter, not harder. But also, check out all of these. Let me turn that off. Virtual backgrounds. So it's like green screen without needing green screen. And it's super clean. Like this technology is phenomenal. I mean, how cool is that? I also have a custom frame that I made for them that coordinates with, you know, the, the flowers, the eucalyptus you know, kind of all that. I asked what their motif was and this is what we got. So, oh, let me go to my new favorite prop here. Let me check this out. <laughs> I love this one. And then the money. I mean, come on. This is a money shot here, ready? So you could see it turned white because you're ready to take the photo. And then Curator also added a new feature where you can, uh, draw if you want which I think is kind of cool you can clear change colors if they don't want to do anything they could just hit continue there's a photo and then they can airdrop it text email and that's it and then it's gonna go back to the attract screen I don't have the center on yet because I don't have the up lights around the room and they're connected with the rest of my a laps so that eventually will be uh, illuminated the same color as the lighting around the room but now you can see why I didn't bring a pillowcase background. Also, as a DJ, this is as simple as you're gonna get. This is as set it and forget it as you're gonna get. I don't offer physical prints and I don't offer physical props because as you saw, they're all within the software. So it keeps things really streamlined, really basic, no cords anywhere. I don't need a lot of room. I mean, this is just perfect. So guests are gonna have a lot of fun with this tonight. I can focus on DJing and offer photo booth without having to worrying about, you know, printer jamming and ink and all that. So absolutely love this setup. If you're looking for, you know, a nice little upgrade to add to your packages to make a little extra while you're already, you know, in the room. I can't think of a better option. Um, battery pack here, obviously charges the iPad and keeps the light ring on. And then I got these um, new, very slim battery packs here that literally just tuck right in the bottom. So. It's like they were meant for it. Welcome to the celebration of Perry and Tim here at the Heritage Hotel. My name is DJ Rachel, and I'm going to be your host and party rocker. We are so delighted to have every single one of you celebrating our newest favorite couple. Party people, give it up for tonight's wedding party. First in, let's show some love for Sarah and Ryan Stevens.
there's no power. The whole entire room just went off. That is emergency lighting. Um, I unplugged my laptops because if it kicks back on, obviously, you know, I don't want power surge stuff. I also unplugged my speakers and uh, I really hope we get this figured out because we have no power. Wow, wow, wow. Power just came back on. Thank God, oh my gosh. I was just about to go grab my ape labs from the reception to put it in for the ceremony so that the photographer had some lighting for the photos. And then after the ceremony, I would have brought them back into the reception. I'm telling you, the, the theme of this gig log is about vendors helping vendors. When there is crisis, you gotta step up and you gotta do the right thing. So essentially, if we would have stayed without power, I would have had not had a problem because battery powered ceremony set up. I have another battery powered cocktail hour set up and then I would have had to run my Jackery. So this is another reason folks, you gotta have a battery powered option. Um, oh my God, but thank God. So crisis averted, I'm feeling a little bit more relaxed Ladies now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd be so kind as to silence your cell phones, please. Thank you. Okay, cocktail hour is underway. I just finished packing up the ceremony system. So let's check it out. Also allows me to check the volume again really quick. So benefits of a double monitor. Right now I'm making uh, changes. I had to move some things around so I can do that in my document. Delete that. Get rid of number four. And I think we're good. So now I will save this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plop that down here and because this is touch screen, right? I can zoom in and uh, here we go. So now I have my updated script right here with names and song cues and uh, we're good. So now I have my timeline in front of me throughout the whole event. Also while I have my DJ software open. So I think this is really cool for my workflow. So DJ software and then a second monitor right here for the timeline. Pretty cool. Right now, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge some very special people seated amongst us tonight. Please give a big hand to the grandparents in the crowd, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Pepin and Mr. and Mrs. Robert Miles. Welcome in our VIPs. First, let's give a warm welcome to Parents of the Bride, 
Mr. and Mrs. Randy Stevens.